Laura and Tom, congratulations on White Lines. It is so slick, so gorgeous. And even more than that, it's fun and intriguing. What did you guys think when you first read the script? Um, yeah, oh gosh, I remember I just watched Money House, Casa de Papel, which is Alex Pina, our creator's um, show. And I said to a friend of mine, oh my gosh, it would just be the dream to work with this guy. I love his head. I love how he writes and creates and his characters and storylines are just amazing. And then a few days later, the universe had heard <laughs> me and I received this script and an audition and um, it was for White Lines and I checked out the, the show creator and writer and it was Alex Pinar and I read it and I just thought yeah this is wild I love it and actually at the heart of it was this woman and this love and relationship that she had with her brother um, and who Tom plays Axel and the whole for me the whole series um, revolves around this big strong beating heart right in the middle which is the brother and the sister and their love for each other and and then around that chaos and madness and entertainment and so many things just ensues but you've got that strong through line which was really important to me so yeah yeah no it's brilliant tom tom you've um i mean you both got to film in places like ibiza and mallorca and on the last day of the shoot you posted a photo and on it it says wrapped up done let's get out the sun Hashtag cream crackered. How exhausting was the shoot? Well, that day in particular was <laughs> uh, the end of a really long sequence um, that we've been shooting massive sets in huge, a load of supporting artists, we have about 800 supporting artists with us for a whole week shooting this um, culminative um, sequence that was exhausting i think I sh that photo was taken at about 5 a.m um but i never felt it was so energizing what we got to shoot and ooh, I, I felt so lucky to be allowed to be doing that stuff i was never tired you know you can't, can't complain <laughs> it was really yeah. we were we were waxed and we shot it for a long period you know we shot it over about seven months yeah i, um, I love that yeah, I love that um, there's an English cast and a Spanish cast and you all came together. Mm. And, you know, the great thing is that you can learn from each other. You can share really special cultural moments with each other. You guys decided to share only fools and horses with the Spanish <laughs> cast. <laughs> what? And why? It seemed very important. It's a of British, British TV. TV. <laughs> Show these guys only fools and horses. What was their reaction? What is this? What was <laughs> <laughs> they loved it. They just thought it was, you know, it's like it's slapstick, isn't it? So it's just it's fun. And on those, we I remember that night we were shooting a, a night shoots, and we had been for about a week. And um, and in between setups, it takes a little t little while for the cr uh, the crew to jump in and and set up a new shot. And then you know you've just got time, a little bit of time to kill. And I just thought, what better way to kill time than to show them any fools and horses? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, and, and actually, I think we did a, we did I Love Lucy, Only Fools and Horses, uh, loads of <laughs> and High Saint BK. What's that show called? I love it. When Axel actually gets to Ibiza, and I think it's in the very first episode, he calls Zoe and he says to Zoe, I feel like I can breathe for the first time. Do you remember the moment when you first thought about the profession you're in right now and went, oh my God, this is where I'm meant to be? Oh, such a nice question. I. Yeah, that is a really, it's a lovely question. I feel like I never, I, I don't know, I feel like I never feel like that. What we, what we do is moving all the time and we always have to, you know, we have to do job interviews all the time. So, you know, I just think I try to find the moments in it that I really appreciate and then feel grateful for those and try and do some good work with people that I believe in, which we we're, we're really lucky to get to do shooting white lines, it's an amazing, eclectic, creative group of international people um, mm. yeah 
You can't, you can't take a breath, so you got to just keep standing. I've had so many moments throughout my career where I've gone, oh my God, I am so lucky. And yeah, I met, there was a fair few of those on white lines. And usually it's environment that does that to me. Usually I can be somewhere and it's a great big scape and I look out at it and the cam and I can, the crew are there and the cameras are there and your cast are there and, you, and I just get like an overwhelming feeling of gratitude and like, whoa, I cannot believe I get to do this and can sustain my life doing this. This is just so cool. I had Breeze tattooed on me, actually. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, because <laughs> breath has been a big thing for me in my life. And I have, I, when I get anxious, I get very shallow breathing. And so I have to really root my breath. And if I've rooted my breath and I can take in my situation, often, you know, if I'm relating it to work, then it's just like euphoric. And on white lines in the read through, I was looking about at all the actors and they were all, you know, doing like super, super work, even in the read through, just sat there and really like, it's like a, being in a theatre and I was like, oh, deep breath, like this is so cool. And then, um, and then, yeah, loads of times on White Lines I had that because, yeah, and the ocean and standing on mountains and yeah, just so like pretty um, cool. Well, I'm glad you had those moments and now you get to share those with us. Thank you so much for White Lines and it was so cool to speak to both of you. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Thank for you, Sabrina. To us. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Have a good Melissa. Evening.